Hey guys, it's Jay and today I am here with my review for Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. I don't even know where to start with my love for this pub. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It is so good. You guys need to read it. Like, I cannot stress this enough. You need to read this pub. So, without further ado, let us get started. So I received this book as part of a vlog tour that Let's Talk Books is running. So I'll leave her link down below if you guys want to check her out because she's great. Love her. In the city of Ravina, everybody is fitted with a metal device in their ear that embeds into their skull and this device is called a singer. These singers play the music, which are these sounds that the government and a man called the conductor controls. The music basically causes people to comply to the conductor and rids them of emotion. They're basically completely loyal to the conductor and everything he says goes. Ranja, a 19 year old mutt, has been the sole provider for her family for as long as she can remember. She has two cousins and a disabled mother who she cares for. That's when she meets Rorik, who is a member of the Anthem, which is a rebel group who plans to take down the Conductor. Due to a little misunderstanding, Rorik knocks Ranja out, kidnaps her, and then cuts her singer out, which basically changes her entire life forever. Honestly guys, like, if that doesn't make you want to read a book, I don't know what will, because like, it just sounds so cool. I'm just saying. But seriously, read this book. As I said, I give this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I don't normally like dystopian novels, but this one was so well done. It was so unique. It was like honestly so incredible. You guys need to read it. I'm going to say that about a million times during this video. The beginning of the book was a little bit confusing. You don't really know anything that's going on until around chapter 15 when things start to get explained to you. So for the first 15 chapters, you're kind of just sitting there like, um, what's going on? What's a singer? What's a mutt? Like, there's all these terms that I don't know what they mean. But just keep reading because it all gets explained, but it's a little bit confusing at the beginning. So there's my fair warning for that, but stick with the book. Stick with it. The more you learned about the characters and the more the world got developed and you learned the backstory of the music and the conductor and everything going on, the more invested you were in the book. Like, you cannot put this book down once you get into it. The writing is so unique and it flows so well. The pacing is very fast and everything is described so well that you can picture it perfectly while you're reading it and it makes it so hard to put the book down like you don't want to stop reading at all. The subplots in the book were so well done I usually am able to predict books so easily. If you guys have been on my channel for a while you know that I can always call books but this one every time I thought I knew what was going on another thing was thrown at you that completely changed the entire plot of the book and you were just sitting there like what just happened? Like, I can't, my heart is breaking, but then it's put back together like 10 pages later, and it's just, it's such an emotional roller coaster. Like, I could not handle it, and I'm still not over a lot of the things that happened in this book, but you know, we're, we're making it through one day at a time. Although there were a lot of commonly used tropes, it was done in a way that was unique. So, like, a lot of the things you've seen in other books, but the way that the author portrayed everything, it made it original in its own way, that it wasn't annoying at all to have the tropes thrown in there. Which was really refreshing because a lot of dystopian books that I've read like are all pretty much the same story retold a million times. But this one was so original, I just, uh, I can't with this book, guys. It's so good. I also really loved how there were multiple point of views and you could see the story from pretty much every character's point of view at some point of the story. Epilogue? was such a surprise. I did not see it coming at all. Honestly, I was sitting there with my mouth hanging open once I finished the book. I cannot wait until 2017 when radio comes out. Like, I need it in my possession now. And I don't want to wait that long. I don't want to wait. And I'm, I'm probably going to cry when it comes out because I'm so excited for it. I fell in love with every single character in this book. Like, even the villain, I was like, I like you. I'm not supposed to like you, but I like you. You are not a nice person, and that makes me happy. Ranja, who is the main character, honestly is such a badass. I could not deal with her. She is so sarcastic and witty and hilarious and just so headstrong. She's honestly like my role model right now and I want to be like her so badly. She was super sassy and extremely loyal to not only her family but also her friends. Which you know, 
admirable, just saying. Rorik made my heart swoon. I have the biggest crush on him. He is so sarcastic and he was like the perfect form of egotistical but also super sweet at the same time and the way that he called Ronja love every time he talked to her I was just like my heart I can't that is so cute even though sometimes it was condescending I was just like I want to be called love that's adorable and I just really like him I I like me some Rorik. Evie and Iris were so feisty but adorable at the same time and I just loved them so much I just wanted to squeeze them and squish them and just oh they're so fun to read and they're just I can't all the characters guys like I just I love them all. I love them. I loved Henry and his relationship with Ronja. He made me so happy. And I just, I'm, I'm not over things that happened, and I'm really upset about it still, but I'm healing slowly. Maybe in book two things will be resolved, that's my hope, but I'm not really 100% sure that it's going to happen. Actually, I'm like 0% sure that what I want to happen is going to happen, but a girl can dream that things will happen. I, can you tell that it's a spoiler if I say what I want to happen, but I want it to happen so bad. Even Tara was lovable in her own way. Although, like, I don't like her, I love her at the same time. Some of the things that she did were a little questionable. I see why she did them, still don't like it, but still love her all the same. Another bonus about this book was the amount of diversity that was in it. There were characters of pretty much every color, sexual orientation, like, everything was thrown in there. But it was done in a way that it wasn't like in your face that some authors do. Like it would just be like mentioned super quickly and it wasn't a huge deal at all, which was super refreshing because there's not a lot of books like that that I've read that it just throws it all out there. I like that part, so good for you, Sophia. A plus on that one. Honestly, this book ruined my heart and then it mended my heart about 60 million times. And I just, I cannot deal, I'm still healing emotionally and I need the sequel. Guys, please read the book. It was incredible. Five out of five stars. Like, Sophia is an amazing writer. And it was her debut novel. It does not feel like a debut novel at all. Like, 100% read this book. Thank you. Please do it. Like, now. Alright guys, so that was my review of Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. I'll leave her Twitter down below because she's actually really funny. I follow her, and you should go follow her too because honestly she just seems like a great person to talk to. So like, hey, Sophia, if you're watching this, like, can we be best friends and like, meet each other because like, you seem awesome. Okay, thanks. Be my best friend. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.